Hello, mamas. I went missing for about two weeks, but this time it wasn't because I was kidnapped by an elderly woman. It was actually because I tried making a video where I prank called celebrities because I stumbled across the fucking phone book, which just happens to have literally every celebrity's phone number, home address, arrests, and conviction history, just all publicly online. And I very much have these celebrities' phone numbers. I can add them on B-Real for my contacts. But I ended up not being able to make the video because after calling over a hundred celebrities, no one picked up. Oh, that's except for- Hello? Yo, it's me. Who's me? Um, I'm looking to stay at the Hotel Motel Holiday Inn. Who's this, bro? Is this not Mr. 305? <laughs> I need to hear Pitbull's speaking voice right now. Pitbull's interview. <laughs> this is such a dramatic <laughs> intro to a Pitbull interview. We had our own police station in there. We had a metro police station in the buildings. I think that was Pitbull. <laughs> Let's give him another call, just to be sure. Please leave your message for- Hey, Pitbull. Okay, so something just blew up outside my house, but I just wanted to say, um, your number is on whitepages.com. You should probably get it taken off. But anyways, I thought, why am I calling celebrities? What the f- what, what did they do? Does Jenna Ortega do anything but just, like, stare? <laughs> into the void does jeffree star do anything other than just like milk his fucking yak but then i got the idea why am i trying to call celebrities when i can just be one <laughs> dramatic cinematic voice you know the stereotype of like a celebrity walking into a packed restaurant on a friday night at 7 p.m but they just walk on by and get a table but how realistic is that would it work if I just pretended to be a celebrity on the phone? I know I asked that like it, like it was a question and I want you to answer, but I already know the answer. It's yes! And I'm no scientist, but I tested this theory. First, I called some places in a <laughs> hillbilly accent, basically the furthest thing away from being a celebrity, and tried to see if I could get a table at popular restaurants like Cheesecake Factory on a busy time on a busy night. Then after that, I switched up the voice, did something a little bit more posh. I pretended to be celebrity personal assistants. And you're about to see how well this works for not only restaurants. I got it to Universal Studio! Okay, you know what? Let me not spoil the whole video. Let's begin! Hi there, I was wondering if I could make a reservation for tonight for uh, me and my, my, my wife, Liz Reservations can be made online, so y'all Oh, I was just wondering if I could make one uh, tonight for 8.30. If you go on the app and it's available, you can, but I, I can't take registration for this one. Oh, all right. Th that's all right. Okay, thank you. You have a nice one. Bye-bye. Okay. Now watch me go from this <laughs> to Shawn Mendes' personal assistant. La, 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 la. Cheesecake Factory. Hello, I'm calling for a VIP reservation. Um, I'm a PA for Sean Mendez, and I was wondering if I could make a reservation tonight for 9 p.m. Okay, uh, let me go ahead and grab a manager, okay? Okay. What is a VIP reservation? Hello, thank you so much for holding. My name's Kutle. How can I help you today? Hi there. Um, I'm a PA for Sean Mendez, just looking to make an arrangement for tonight at 8.30 p.m., if that's possible. Okay. Uh, it's going to be two others. So three people all together? Y yes. Can you some indoors or outdoors? Uh, can we do indoors, please? You know, Camila sometimes, uh, um, Sean's boo sometimes gets like a little bit cold when it's outdoors, so. Oh, of course. Okay. When they check into something, uh, I'll put it under a young reservation. Amazing. Thank you so much for your accommodation. Of course. Have a great day. You too. Goodbye. So they do have tables! They go from suddenly. No cheesecake in this factory to Sean Mendes wants to eat cheesecake in our factory. I'm obviously going to cancel the reservation. I'm not pulling up to Cheesecake Factory. Yeah, that was a lie. I pulled up to Cheesecake Factory. I woke up in a new Bugatti. I woke up in a... 
<laughs> celebrity era J jenna ortega would kill to have this lifestyle of sitting alone in a cheesecake factory um but i can't lie it was the best meal i've had while in disguise as a celebrity personal assistant until i spilled my water all over myself and left embarrassed Anyways, I tried this method for Olive Garden next. Thank you for calling the Olive Garden in Burbank at the Empire Center. Olive Garden Burbank, this is JJ. How can I help you? Hi there, how are you doing? I'm doing well, how about you? Though? Pretty good. Uh, I was wondering if I could make a reservation tonight for 9 p.m. Uh, we actually do not take um, reservations. Okay, but so there's no way to make a reservation though, like in concrete, sit in stone for 9? No, no, nah, unfortunately, yeah, we don't do uh, reservations. What if I like came in and uh like brought my own um like my own pasta and my own wheat and then milled it for um for my meal? You can be more than welcome to just order the sauce and then you can make the pasta I don't like at home. You know what? That's very true. All right. Well, thank you so much. You have a good one. Bye bye. <laughs> Can I help you? Hi there, I'm a PA for Jenna Ortega looking to make a reservation for tonight at 9 p.m. if that's possible. Yeah, give me a second. Sweet. So you said for tomorrow at, and for how many? Uh, that'll be three and uh, for nine, please. For nine, yeah, I can do nine. Okay, and then can I get a first name? Uh, yes, that'll be Ralph. Ralph, okay. And then can I get a last name? Um, Decantis. I for three guests at 9 p.m. and the phone number is... Bleep! We'll dox Pitbull, but we're not doxing myself today. All right, well, thank you so much. Of course, bye-bye. Take care, bye-bye. I don't know why the accent came out there at the end, but... <laughs> oh, so all of a sudden, Olive Garden takes reservations! That's really interesting. All right, reservations confirmed. We can, like, monkey with that. But what else can we, like, do by pretending to be a celebrity? That's, that, that is the question I asked myself uh, five minutes ago. And I realized theme park tickets. You see, Universal Studios is like completely sold out online tomorrow. Not, not a ticket in sight. When they open tomorrow, I'm going to call as Hillbilly and then call as Ralph, the celebrity personal assistant. Thank you for calling Universal Studios. My name is Wednesday. Who do I have the pleasure of speaking with? Hi there, uh, my name is Ralph. Uh, I was wondering if I could book um, a ticket. What type of ticket are you looking for today, Ralph? Um, I was looking for one on uh, this this Thursday on the 23rd. Uh, I saw it sold out online, but I was wondering if I could have a, a, a special chance. We are all sold out. Oh, you're all sold out? Mm-hmm. Okay, gotcha. Well, thank you so much, Wednesday. You have a, you have a good one. <laughs> you too, Ralph. I'm gonna go ahead and release you to a brief survey now, okay? Okay, please release me Wednesday. Don't put piranhas in the pool. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Can y'all believe that I just talked to the Wednesday? Okay, my ankle is like actually four feet out of my UGG right now. Alright, I found a number for the VIP line. Um, we're gonna give it a shot. Good morning, VIP sales. Yes, help you. Hi there, um, I'm a PA for uh, Jenna Ortega looking to book um, two VIP tickets uh, and I was just wondering a little bit about the process, how it works. So for Jenna, I would think that you probably are going to want to do a private VIP tour. It's a guided part, um, guided tour with the, with a guy within the theme park taking you to the front of the line. Just because I know that most celebrities don't there is you're going to want to book a private. <laughs> Okay. They don't want to get, they're not going to want to be around so many guests. Amazing. Thank you so much. Okay, you're welcome. All right, have a great one. You too. Goodbye. All you got to do is say you're Jenna Ortega's personal assistant. Boom. I pulled up to Universal on that very VIP tour. And by God, it was expensive. But they give you these passes that... You guys, let everyone know you're very important. On the back of the barcode, you'll scan that in every ride and attraction. The name of your tour ride is... But listen, I was only really excited for Super Mario World, uh, which was kind of ass because there's like nothing to do in there. And it was raining and crowded, and then they had one ride, which we got to skip in the line for, but it was ass as well. But then we got to eat at a buffet, which was very quite good, except for the random movie characters that they had that would just keep coming up to you. Plutonium? I don't. My bad. I have like a strawberry. Feel, but that's it. Oh, feel free to leave that and any other scraps. I'll have it recycled. Perfect. I appreciate it. Thank you so Thank much. Thank you. Enjoy yourself. Oh, yeah. How are you?
Fender wants to tell me what movie this guy is from or if he is just a cokehead from the streets of LA, please let me know. Ultimately, this should not exist. I want to see the Kardashians like makeup fucking melting off their face while they like wait in the rain or the heat or be just be exposed to the elements like I've done every time I went to Universal. The Minion ride was very lit though. And uh, that's it. I feel like I just shared something very evil with y'all so um do this use this responsibly what the fuck is fraud? i don't know what fraud is love you